what's up guys let us merge to sorted linked list here do like and share the video subscribe to the channel to get further update so if you have already subscribed to my channel you would have seen that i solved a pretty hard problem and that was uh, we need to merge k sorted linked list but in this particular case we just need to merge two sorted linked list so the idea will still be same but uh, uh, the only thing is that looping process and all will be little simpler here and uh, the benefit of understanding this process is that it will help you in solve similar kind of problem like uh, even the tough ones there is a problem that is available where you have to flatten a, uh, a linked list so maybe I will get to that problem sometime later uh, in my some other video but the base of that problem also will come from here only where you have to merge to sorted list so what we need to do here is uh, the idea is since the list is already in a sorted order so you don't need to apply the sorting algorithm you just need to do merge so if you are familiar with the sort merge algorithm then we will apply similar kind of thing for this linked list also so if you see here we have one two and four which is all in sorted order and the second list says that it is one three and four so what we will do is we will compare the first element with this first element and uh, if this one is smaller than this one then we will use this one otherwise we will use this one so we'll create the list as this we'll have this new list as one now next what we'll do is since we have used the first element from this list so we will move one step ahead in the linked list and we'll go to this element so we will compare now two against one so we'll see which one is smaller if one is smaller than two so we will add one to this linked list okay and now again we have used one from here so we'll move to the next step which is three now we need to compare two against three so we will put two here and we'll move one step ahead in four so that is how we will end up with something like this and it will be null in the end so that is how that is how the merge will happen now how do we implement it so i will just uh, show you the case and it will be a pretty small solution so if you got the first list and if this list itself is null if this is equal to null so in that case we will return the second list i don't need to check what is there in the second list so i'll blindly return the second list because this node is null for me second case will be if l2 is equals to null so in that particular case i will simply return l1 so same as the first case now if both of them are not null so in that case we need to compare these two elements the first two elements so i will create a list node here I, we can call it temp this is equals to the new list node and uh, will not assign any value to it currently so it will just be a temp node without any value so if you see here this uh, list node has a uh, constructor where i can just define the node and uh, no need to define any value so i will define the value later so to define the value i will do a check that if l1 dot value is less than l2 dot value in this case i will assign my temp this temp dot val is equals to since l1 is smaller than l2 so i will assign l1 dot value to this temp node okay and uh, i need to build this temp list node further like how i showed here so to build it we will again call this merge function which is we'll call it recursively now when you call this method recursively since you have already used this first element here for the temp val so this your temp dot next this will be equal to you call this merge list again but this time when you call it you call it with this list because one is already used from this side so how you can call it you can say l1 dot next and l2 you have not used anything so you will pass the complete l2 okay and uh, in otherwise means that if l2 is greater than l1 so in that particular case we will do exact same thing only difference will be temp dot value will be here l2 dot value and here we will pass l1 completely because we have not used anything from l1 
and we have used one element from l2 so it will be l2 dot next so that is how this will be built and in the end we will simply return temp okay so you see what we did here is if suppose we have come to the end of one of the list so it may not be that both the linked list are of same size so if it is something like this so here here l2 is null so in that case i will simply return l1 any node of l1 that is currently available to me and otherwise if this is 4 this is equals to 4 and then 5 so if we have condition like this so if l2 is null then i will return l1 oh, sorry got other way right but i hope you understood the concept here now if we have element present in both the list so in that case first we will compare and uh, then we will assign the value to this temp node and we will assign temp dot next accordingly so this is how the this is the common way or this is the most efficient way of doing merge in a linked list and it will be used to solve various kind of problems starting from this easy one to very hard ones and uh, yes if you understood this concept then all the other problem will be very easy for you do check out the other video also where i have merged uh, k sorted list where we have here we are given just two list there we will be having like k number of list and we need to merge all of them so i applied similar kind of logic there as well so do check it out if you are interested and that comes under a hard problem of linked list so let us submit this solution so that's it it's accepted so that is it for this video see you in the next one take care bye